This is the brand new Insta360 Ace Pro and I think it represents a massive leap forward for action cameras. You see, not only do you have excellent image quality and a great range of clever accessories, but also they've worked in some new AI powered features that can do all sorts of crazy stuff like this. Now we've been testing this one out for the past couple of weeks pre-launch. And so in this video, we'll go through the 12 key features that I think make it excellent for motorcyclists like you. Now look, a massive thanks to Insta360 for supporting the channel and sponsoring this video. And with that, let's take a look at some of the features. Now for me, the foundations of a brilliant action camera would be brilliant image quality, and that's exactly what you get with the Ace Pro. The lens for a start is co-designed with Leica, who are a German camera and lens manufacturer, and they specialize in proper high-end stuff. And so if anyone's gonna collaborate on the design of a lens, you probably want it to be them. Then you've got a 1 over 1.3 inch image sensor and that's pretty much as big as you'll fit into a tiny action camera like this. It's up there with the best on the market and slightly bigger than GoPro's latest camera. What you get with a big sensor is the ability to capture as much light as possible and so that helps to give you a sharp image with lots of dynamic range and also excellent color reproduction. So far, I've been super impressed with the footage I've captured, and especially when I was out the other night. The sun's getting low at this time of year, and also you've got all the orange and yellow leaves on the trees. I thought the footage that this produced was absolutely top notch. Thing is though, with motorcycling and action sports in general, there's not much point in having pristine image quality if you don't have good stabilization. But in the Ace Pro, you've got four different levels to choose from. You can have it off, but then there's low, standard, and even a high setting for the more extreme situations. Now high is super impressive. It's almost gimbal-like in its smoothness, but I think it does come down to personal taste a bit, and sometimes you might want a little bit of camera movement to demonstrate the sense of speed. So I think it's great to have the option to choose between the different settings. And also there is a horizon lock feature which keeps the horizon steady and level. And that's great for giving a sense of the bike leaning, for example. And while naturally you've got a bit of a crop with that because it's got to rotate the image, you know, it's still another nice creative tool to have. Now look, another feature I'm really enjoying on this camera is the active HDR. Below certain frame rates, this feature has switched on automatically and HDR stands for high dynamic range. So the idea is it tries to make sure that the highlights don't get too blown out, but the shadows also still contain plenty of detail. This is absolutely ideal if you wanna mount the camera on the bars like this and get a sort of selfie shot, because typically you're shooting slightly upwards and so a bright sky behind you can mean that you can't really see any detail around your body and helmet. The Ace Pro though does an excellent job of balancing it out. So for daytime use, you've got that great image quality, the steady stabilization, and also the ability to balance high contrast situations. But what about night? I mean, this is where most action cameras start to fall apart. Generally, boosting up the ISO really high means that the image starts to look fuzzy, and slow shutter speeds can give you unwanted motion blur that just makes it look a bit poor. This is where the Ace Pro starts to get really interesting though, because they've actually built in a dedicated AI chip. And in the pure video mode, it's constantly processing the footage to remove unwanted fuzziness, unwanted ISO noise. And the result is this very clean looking nighttime footage. Here are a few clips I captured the other night. And for me, this is the best night footage I've ever seen out of an action camera. And it really does look extremely impressive for such dim conditions. Now, as with all their cameras, the Ace Pro is compatible with the Insta360 app and this is where you can make trims and edits and play with the footage. And so not only do you have the AI features actually in camera, but there's also a couple of neat tricks in the app as well. One of them is the fact that you can add motion blur to your footage to make it look super cinematic. And basically that means you don't have to mess around with like slip on ND filters on the camera. And then also you've got that AI warp feature that I showed you in the intro of this video. And look, it's not something you'll use all the time, but it just goes to show 
how far they can go with processing the image. Now, if you've ever watched any of our motorcycle reviews, you'll know that we use lots of close-ups and details of the bike. And generally, I shoot these in slow motion to keep the footage nice and smooth. With this, you can actually do 4K up to 120 frames per second. So if you're looking to make on the bike stuff, but also want something you can use off it to get cutaways and B-roll and stuff like that, then this is actually a genuine option for that kind of shooting. Plus, you could also use their super versatile selfie stick come tripod type accessory, set the camera up by the road and ride past it and you'll get a really nice slow motion shot. Another nice piece of versatility as well is that in the standard video mode, you can actually double tap on the back of the screen and it punches into a 2x zoom. And because you've got that big sensor that can actually capture up to 8K of resolution, the resulting video that you get out of the camera is still full 4K because it's just taking the middle part of that 8K sensor. A prime example would be this highly unusual boat, which you can barely see any of. Quick tap. And we're into 2x, still at 4K, excellente. Thing is, with all these features, I've been using this camera and thinking, well, this is a great option just to slip in your pocket and use for capturing anything, be that rides or vlogging or just things happening around you. And one of the new features that really does help is this quick release buckle. That means you can just grab the camera off your chin, even with your gloves on, and so you can switch between helmet footage and vlogging when you stop off without having to mess around with thumb screws or action cam buckles. Then you could get multiple quick release mounts and put them on different areas around the bike or on that tripod accessory. And yeah, it really does make it very, very easy to move around. Then if you do want to go down that vlogging route, you've even got a flip screen now, which is just the most important feature in terms of filming yourself and framing. I think this might actually be a first on the action camera market, certainly amongst the immediate competition. And for me, it's one of the best new features. And it's also super handy on the bike if you mount it on the bars like I showed earlier, because not only can you nail the framing, but you can manage all the settings and features and menus without having to take it out of the mount. Then you've got a little 3.5 mil microphone phone adapter that goes into the USB port on the side and if you plug a lav mic like this in to get a little bit better audio quality it really is an impressive little vlogging camera. There you go a little lav mic on there, the selfie stick, what more do you need? Thing is though, most bikers who want to film their rides are going to put it on their chin because that gives you that super immersive first person perspective and a flip screen isn't much use there unless you're willing to look in your mirrors. But look, it feels like Insta360 have thought of pretty much everything with this new camera and its accessories and a big one. Another game changer for me is the GPS remote which can actually preview the footage from the camera. Now in the box there's a watch strap so you can wear it on your wrist. It looks almost exactly like an Apple watch actually but then you've got this universal mount as well which fits perfectly on the handlebars of a motorcycle now i love that it can pair with multiple cameras because when i'm vlogging on the bike i often have one on the chin one on the bar so that's a big bonus for me and it just means that you can get your frame in perfect every time you're always sure if you're recording or not and you can manage some of the features and settings without having to stop and get your helmet off or get your phone out it's also worth adding it is collecting gps data as well and if you so wish, you can lay that over your footage afterwards, which does look really cool. So I think you'll agree there are some really impressive techie new features on this camera, but some of the best new developments are actually much more simple, but they've just really thought about how to make it more usable. A prime example would be the ability to pause recording, so you just tap on the bottom of the screen there, and that means that if you want to frequently stop and start the recording, you're not creating loads and loads of files. It'll just output them to one single file, and then on top of that, I think we've all captured stuff on action cams that we actually thought after we shot it was complete rubbish. And so a brilliant feature is the ability to just hold the shutter button down and it'll actually delete the last recording so you're not filling up your card with loads of stuff that you just don't want to keep. Then, I think even more impressive than that is the gesture control and voice control. Hold up my hand. It starts recording, how crazy is that? And then if you hold up your hand again, Stops and watch this. Start recording. <laughs> Stop recording. Shut down camera. <laughs> like I say, that's not part of the AI or anything groundbreaking like that. 
just smart use of existing tech. For me, I think a lot of these new features are really gonna help with producing better motorcycle content and it's gonna make it easier as well. But the other use case for a camera like this is more as like a dash cam. So the good news is it has a loop mode, so it's continuously capturing a set window. I think you can choose it up to 30 minutes. But on top of that, there are two really good new features that I think make dash cam use much easier. Number one is the fact that it will boot up automatically if it detects USB power into the socket on the side here. So you can plug it into the bike if you've got a USB port up in the cockpit or you can run one from the battery under the seat and it basically means you'll never miss anything because you forgot to hit record. But the other one is the AI Highlights Assistant. Now adding highlights is basically like adding a little flag to the footage so that when you get it into the app or the studio software you'll see a little marker that reminds you that something interesting happens. Great if you're in the habit of doing it manually but also the AI chip is constantly analyzing for interesting things happening and so with this assistant switched on you're going to automatically get markers and that's going to make it much easier to sift through long video files. I mean it's kind of blown me away as to how much they fit into this update it really is impressive and I think if you're looking for an action camera at the moment especially if you're a motorcyclist then this has to be on your shortlist if not right at the top. As always though, I'd love to know what you think of it, so do let me know down in the comments below. There's a link in the description as well to their website where you can pick up an Ace Pro. We also use their X3, which is their 360 camera, pretty much all the time for capturing riding stuff. So if you want to see my full review of that, I'll link to the video on the screen now so you can give it a click and give it a watch. Do hit subscribe if you've not already, if you want to see more videos like this. Many thanks for watching today and we'll see you in the next one.